My name is Jonathan Rankin, and I'm a law student volunteering with the Strip at our firm. We've all seen the videos of police brutality and excessive force directed at peaceful protesters in the wake of the murder of George Floyd. Some of us have witnessed it firsthand, or even been injured ourselves. There needs to be a way for people who have suffered this kind of violence to get justice. Because of this, the Strip Matter Law Firm is offering free legal services to peaceful protesters, bystanders, members of the media, and any other person who was injured due to unwarranted excessive force by the police in the recent and ongoing Black Lives Matter George Floyd protests. What kind of incidents might warrant a legal claim? If you've been sprayed by the police with chemical weapons, struck directly by the police with a baton or other device or weapon, shot by the police with any type of projectile such as a rubber bullet, struck indirectly by the police as the result of the deployment of flashbang grenades or sting balls, assaulted by the police by pushing, shoving, hitting, or other direct forceful conduct, or injured by crowds fleeing from unwarranted police conduct, you have the right to file a claim against the government for your injuries. You may be thinking, I've experienced some of this, but other people have had it worse, or my injuries aren't that serious. However, we want you to bring your claim, no matter how big or small, and stand up for your legal rights to hold the police and government accountable. Injuries, temporary or permanent, can include any of these things. Cuts, bruises, chemical injuries, hearing loss, sprains, dislocations, broken bones, concussions, wrongful death, and other injuries. If you think you or someone you know might have a claim and needs legal assistance, please reach out to us. We believe that Black Lives Matter, that racism and racist institutions should not be supported, and that the Constitution protects your right to speak, assemble, and report. We want to stand with you and advocate for you to oppose the racism and brutality that we're witnessing, and in some cases experiencing, across this country.